the real problem yeah. with the secret is the the idea that you're taking all these people that are, that are already successful. Mm -hmm. they, they've achieved a certain result. And then you're asking them, how did you achieve that result? Well, I thought positive, and I just mm -hmm. really put my mm -hmm. mind to it, and I dreamt on it. They all have this in common. Yes. Well, you know who also thought positive? A bunch of losers. Yeah. You yeah. know, they all, they all they tried, and, you know, they got hit in the head by asteroids or car mm -hmm. accidents, or the, the world turned bad on them. I mean, that, that actually can happen, too. Yeah. So it's just you're using, you have a, a biased focus group. Exactly. Like, you have a yes, exactly. It's exactly. Yeah. And and the the idea of setting a goal, fixating on it, and ignoring all the haters and ignoring mm -hmm. all the people that will bring you down is a perfect recipe for failure, as much <laughs> as as it's a common anecdotal uh, story of success. Well, the problem with that is if you just focus on the one. Th the thing about human beings, I think, is that we really do need other people's input and interaction. The idea that you're going to work in a vacuum and create this great masterpiece mm. without any b interaction with other human beings. That's, that's doesn't really, it doesn't really work like that. It doesn't, because life is active and messy yes. and ambiguous and ambivalent. And I think the trouble is we get hung up on nouns like happiness or meaning mm. or even the self, right? Because I think, I think actually these things are verbs. They're, maybe we self as a verb. You know, maybe it's something that happens dynamically in the relationships that we're in. Maybe our self is something that kind of extends out into the world and is, you know, kind of fluid in that way. And happiness maybe is, maybe that's an activity. Meaning is maybe an activity. But we, we reduce these things to nouns like they're really neat, easy, isolated things. And uh, they're really not. So like in the, in the a lot of the, the TV shows that I do, I'm putting people through like a transformative process and they, they're reacting to kind of really extreme situations. And I always have people saying, Oh, I wouldn't do that. Although they think it's all fake, because I, I would never do that. But they're viewing themselves as this isolated, this just this sort of individual, kind of separated from everything else, watching that and thinking how they behave. What they're not doing is thinking, and if I were in that situation, with mm. those same pressures. Yes. What, and then that's, that's amazing that that does change us, that we're not these, you know, for two, three hundred years, we've had this idea that we are these um, kind of... Uh, it all goes back to like not being influenced by kings and priests. Like it was, this is John Locke. It's like the the, the beginnings of that that idea that no, no, we we uh, we should not. We should have this kind of personal authority, and it's drifted into uh, through Kant. I think it's drifted into a really unrealistic and unfair sense of how isolated we are, and we're not. We're clearly social uh, creatures. I, 